snuggle up a little bit more. Hey, yeah. this is Cece. And this is Kit. And you're listening to the boy and girl thing. Welcome, man. We're happy to have you with us. And we hope whatever goes on tonight will be enlightening and enjoyable and certainly entertaining. Absolutely. Well, let's uh, introduce ourselves in case they don't know who you are. Well, who are you? <laughs> my name is Christopher T. Kit Smith, and I'm the author of the book, Let's Meet Our Match, Your Complete Guide to Success in the World of Internet Dating. And she is... And what am I? The doyen. I'm the doyen. I'm the doyen. I can still can't say it. I'm the doyen of divorce, relationship loss, transition to dating relationships, and just really kind of getting your life together as being a single. And so I've been doing it for quite some time. I am the CEO of WGSN DB Going Solo Network, and we are so pleased and honored to be able to bring this show here, Boy and Girl Thing, to you. Absolutely. And we're looking forward to helping you get through any of the obstacles or difficulties or problems or even traumas that you may be having with internet dating, relationships, how to move forward. We're here for all of that. And we really look, our whole motivation behind all of this, besides having a little fun, is helping you. And that's our main goal. What can we do to help you transition into a newer, better and a happier life. Absolutely. And you know, you can join us right here on Facebook. You can make any comments that you want. If you'd like to join us on the phone, you can do that. Our number here is 727-248-0171 because we would love to have you. But our show really is focused on, as Kit said, to move you forward in wherever you're at. And so we were thinking, or actually I was thinking, um, and that's about the way girls are. We were thinking um, that we would talk tonight about being in the present. How many times have you experienced something in your life where you either you are not in the present, you're not behaving or or focused with within your parameters in the present, but also those around you are not focusing on that? And how can you be successful in the transition of dating and into dating, online dating, if you're not living in the present. And so, hey, Sonia, so nice to see you. It's so great to have you here with us. So what do you say about that? Well, I, I, your message is essentially, if you're, if you're dwelling in the past and you're having difficulty letting go of the past, what can we do to help you finally rid yourself of that so that you can move forward and enjoy the life you want to have going forward. Right. Okay. That's, that's, what's really important. And, and look, every, every one of us at some time or another has been through a traumatic or difficult relationship and we've had to come out of it. We've had to, you know, make changes maybe, um, change our attitude, change our thinking so that we can take the steps to move on. And moving on, I know it, 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 it's easier for me to say it than it is for somebody to do it. But that's really the key or the essential element for you to, to just, okay, what's done is done. Let's, let's put that aside. Let's leave that behind. And now I'm ready to go forward. But where do I go from here? And that's something else that we can help you with. We can help direct you or guide you or lead you to, to, to being able to go forward and just forget that stuff. Let's go forward. Let's have fun. Let's start Absolutely. enjoying ourselves. Absolutely. And, you know, I thought that was so important to bring forward because I read an article recently that talked about being successful in relationships. And if you want to move forward in your life and be successful, maybe possibly have a great partner in your life, get married again, you will have a better chance of success if you live within the moment and you continue to work on yourself individually, which I thought that was really kind of cool because we do and talk a lot about this when we are, you know, in our shows and the various different um, shows that we have on WGSN, we talk about really you know, being in the now and, and understanding yourself and being able to have that personal growth. And so I thought that was very important. Then I went on a date 
And, and this is a, a while real, back. A so real Yes, I know. It's hard, to, <laughs> hard for you all out there to believe that. But I went on a date. And what I realized is that, and I'm not saying it was a current date because I don't want the guy that I currently went out with thinking that it was him. It's someone else that I'd gone out with in the past. Uh -oh. But what I found is that he was never living in the present. He was either living in the past or he was living so far into the future that I couldn't catch up with him. You know, his plan was to get this done, do this, do that, save, blah, 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 blah. And then you can have this in the future. Well, hey, I could be dead by then, you know, yeah. what he was planning. But what he didn't realize is what I needed. And, and as an individual, what I needed was there in the moment. You know, I needed him to be with me in the moment, doing things and sharing experiences and enjoying life in the moment versus every moment of his waking hours was thinking about what his future was going to bring. Yeah. And, uh, and, and that was based a lot about the fear of what happened to him in the past. So that made me think a little bit more about, you know, being in the present, living in the present. So now what do you think about that? There's, there's nothing wrong with taking, taking the things that you've learned from previous relationships and either your role in the end of the relationship, what did you do to contribute to it? What did the other person do? And, and mostly the, the, take positive in the sense, what did you learn from it? What, did, what, what positives can you take out of it that you can use or lessons that you've learned or, or valuable experience that you can use going forward? Um, you know, the, the, it's it is hard. I mean, losing a relationship can sometimes feel like death. I've experienced it, and I can sit here and talk to you in all honesty that I I understand completely what anybody's going through with a lost relationship, and how difficult it can be moving forward. But you know, you, uh, I've learned some. I learned some very valuable lessons. I you know and. and uh, I'm not uncomfortable moving forward. I look forward. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to to go forward. Um, but I will. I know how painful and traumatic it was, and and how difficult it is to leave behind. But mm -hmm. you, you just, in the end, that's what you have to do more than anything else. Take inventory. What was good? What was bad? Why did it falter? You know, why did it come apart? And and. What can you do as a person to, to be better and make the next relationship better? Right. Okay. And so just to remind everyone, you can make a comment right here and we can answer any questions do. that you we have. Would, we would love to hear what you have yes, to say. Yes, we would love that too. And you can also give us a call on 727-248-0171. That's our direct line here if you want to give us a call. So let's move forward. So once we've decided, okay, we're ready to date and we start making that transition of dating. What would you say would be the thing that we would need to do if we're going to be going to online dating? Probably more than anything else is a mindset where you become open-minded, more open-minded. And that's not always an easy thing to do. Um, one of the first things you look at or the first things you see when you, when you go into an online dating site for the first time is it's like, oh my gosh, look at all these people. And it's like looking at a catalog and you can almost find yourself really quickly saying, well, this won't take long. Mm -hmm. Look at all, I, I should be able to find somebody out of all these people. You know, I have a story. I have a, uh, a oh, good friend. Good. <laughs> oh, good. A good friend of mine. And this she tells happened. great stories. Well, this has happened just a couple of days ago, actually, last night. And um, what happened was she was on a, a site that started with POF <laughs> and, uh, she has a cute little profile there, great, you know, great wording and all of this kind of stuff. And she was getting a lot of hits on it. A lot of people were contacting her. Then all of a sudden her, and she does it a lot on her phone, all of a sudden her phone started blowing up. And I said to her, I said, you know, you have to really set your parameters. And that, and again, I think that's living in the present. You have to set your parameters of what you're going to do. You have to begin to set your boundaries on what you want your life to be. And so when you're, and I'm not saying you can't do it, 
But you have to think about how can you date someone that lives across country or lives in another country? How can you date? And so where you're at now is in the present and you want to actually be going out. You want to go to the movies. You want to go to dinner. You want to go and do things. Now, how can you do that? As human beings. Yeah. And I don't mean to. You're interrupting my story. (laughs) No, no, go ahead. As human beings, go ahead. I just want to interject (laughs) that we are contact. We, 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 human beings are all about contact and that, that's direct face to face, physically in front of one another and being there together. This, you know, she brought up an interesting point about distance, mm-hmm. you know, foreign country or the other side of the country. Tough, really tough to make that work. And well, it, and I think she's in it knowing her. She is in it because she has such a loss of being by herself. I mean, she's she's decided now. I'm, I'm no longer I no really longer want to be by myself, and I want I want someone in my life. So, with saying that, she didn't set her boundaries. She didn't set her her perimeters of where she wants to date. And I said it's very vital that you do that. And so, what happened is like all these guys from countries and whatever, they just started blowing up her phone. Getting I'm mean, in the middle of the night. She didn't even answer any of them. So she was really getting hacked is what she was getting. Yeah. She was, she was, they were just bombarding her. And um, so what uh, Plenty Fish did, they just shut her right down. They completely shut her down. I think you had that experience yeah. where they shut you down. And so then you have to go back in and, and redo it. And now she's kind of afraid and fearful of doing that. Those little boxes that you check off, they're there for a yes. reason. Yes, so you must do that. But not only that, you must yourself start setting boundaries. And I think as we move forward even in this show and we're going to move forward from the transition of dating so when we're looking at going online i think we have to have start having a mindset of what it is that we're looking for what we want what we're going to to tolerate that kind of thing and and so then we start putting that together in our profile you know we put our age range we put where where our location that's important to us i don't look at anybody outside of the country if you're interested in me You got to move here. I'm just not going to do it because I want to date you. And if you don't have the capability of moving here and you're out anyway, don't Mm -hmm. don't come back to me with, well, I'd love to move there, but I need help getting there. That's a red flag for me, always has been. And that should be. Well, that's just somebody that wants money. Here's the deal Uh, is that you want you want someone in your life and. I hate to say it, but I, I'll be real upfront. The most of the time, and not all the time, but most of the time, the people that contact those outside of their parameters of dating, being able to physically date them, are not available. And they're doing it because they have that security blanket. They have that distance between them. And so you need to know that and understand that. And if you answer them, and if you continuously talk to them, then you have to ask yourself, what are you doing? Are you also not available? Are you just wanting to fill your time and space with maybe feeling good that somebody's talking to you? So what do you want? So set your parameters of what it is that you're really looking for and what you want. I, I agree completely and stick to it. Um, what CC had said earlier that if you, if you broaden it too far and don't, don't have some personal guidelines, well, then you end up the next next phase is so you so you're dating all these different people, okay? Um, but it ends up going nowhere. It's and you end up disappointed, right? And the more disappointments that start to stack up now now, I and I've heard this from from people that I've met from from women that I've met say I'm just so disgusted with it. You know, well, who are you meeting? Who are you allowing to meet you? Right. Okay. And if there are people that don't fit into, I've, I've written blogs about this, um, uh, you know, and, and I used a, a diagram or a picture of two pieces of a child's puzzle. Are those people, are those pieces fitting together? And it's a very good metaphor for what we're talking about right now. Mm-hmm. And you end up disappointed. And, and what that becomes the dating sites problem. If you're accepting invitations for dates from people that you almost know right up front, you're just not going to have anything in common with or they don't seem to fit your needs. 
why bother? Just right. just say. Thank and it's because you are you you yourself are, are not available. You so got you, and you, you have to think about it. And, right? and you got to determine how lonely are you. I, I, I mean, we all are. Uh, there's no question about it. We crave human contact and we crave relationships. There. You made me forget the next point. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the next point we we're going to talk about. Um, now, <laughs> so, I, now I lost my train. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> so um, now we both don't know what we're going to talk about. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, I agree with, I agree with what you're saying. And it's living in the present. So be in the present. Okay. So with saying that, don't be so in the present that you are blocking off things. Like for instance, you know, you, you can drive to the other side of town to see someone you right. can, you can do that. I mean, there's certain things that you can work out. Um, you know, cause I was talking with a gentleman that would only date in his particular little town here in Tampa Bay area. And it's like, well, what do you not have a car? Can you, <laughs> I mean, do you have to like walk to her house? I mean, what, what is the reasoning for that? You, so you you know be be reasonable about it and and not be so um you know so sad. There's there I guess I guess there is some gray area. Okay, we're we're not telling you to chisel in stone your your dating criteria. What we're saying is set up set it up, abide by it, but allow a little bit of room for some flexibility. Because you know, for for example, I I guess you know. I'll okay, use... I did remember what my next point was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Go ahead. I'm just kidding. You. <laughs> my, you know my my personal, uh, you know my uh, <laughs> issue is motorcycles. Oh, there we go. The motorcycle again. Kit <laughs> Kit doesn't do motorcycles of any kind, shape. Looking at them, nothing. But okay. women look really hot in leather pants. Uh, uh, th th that's fine if they're a go-go dancer. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I think that's great. But um, I, I've seen profiles where they they have a, like a series of pictures. Okay, lovely formal dress, like they went to their daughter's wedding, um, t-shirt and cutoff, set a baseball game, um, bathing suit out on the beach, and then lo and behold, on the back of a Harley. Okay, and then you say no. I go delete next, See, well, next, and I'm well, out. Well, to each of them. To each of them. Okay, my next point was going to be dating. I think for men, and you let me know if this, if I'm what well, uh, in case I'm, I'm a right. man. <laughs> your point of view on it, but I feel personally that it's a bit of a smorgasbord. For men. Oh, no question. Oh, um, oh so what happens sure. is, is a guy will go out, and and he meets a really great girl. You know, such as myself, and uh, as an example, <laughs> and and many other wonderful women that I know as friends. But they'll go out and they'll meet us ladies, and but then they don't give it up. They won't. They won't say, "Let me try it with her for a while," or you know, I have a lot of friends that this go. This you know, this happens to them, and they just have so many women that they date. And they're almost like as if they're in their 20s again. And they're just dating this one and that one and this one and that one. And they're not. And the reason I bring it up is because I think it's true. I think it is a fact. But the problem is, is that person's not living in the present. They're not really truly understanding what it is that they're looking for. Or, or just, just plain and simple, they may not be looking for a relationship. Of that intense of a relationship the same way you might be. absolutely so that's why i say we have to live in the present we have to know what it is that we're looking for and when someone let's say we meet a potential partner that isn't ready to make any kind of commitment they're just sowing their oats and they want their they've been they haven't you know they've been divorced and they haven't been divorced long and they just want to get out there and yeah. just let it rip whatever yeah. Cut loose. then yeah. we need to know as us looking or he him looking and he's having this experience with a woman they need to know what it is that they're looking for and if it's not a right fit don't try to put you know a square peg in a round hole don't try to do it don't try yeah. to make it work if um even though that person might be an awesome What's person if they're not on the same timing as you they're not living in the same presence as you 
it's not going to work for now. The, the one the one thing that I will cling to, and, and it seems like this makes its way into every one of our conversations, every one of our shows. Oh gosh, please don't talk about chemistry. Huh? <laughs> Are you? Gee, I'm, Louise. I'm here to tell you. I mean, you and that chemistry. It's never going to go away. <laughs> never. It, it, it is a human. But sweetheart, when chemistry. the lights are off, there's got to be something more going on. It, it, it's, it, it's like <laughs> the most powerful human instinct we have after our basic senses is just to know that we're in the presence of someone. And it's almost like a bell goes off. Mm -hmm. Doing this is this is it. I've met her, and it's almost like those the, like the the parameters, guidelines, you know, desires, needs. You know, that's uh, true. I well, agree. I agree yeah. with you. I I'll give you that. I and will I'm give you over, that. I'm in because I I'm think in. if a guy is truly in, and that's where I kind of use this as my gauge. It's like if he's constantly still online, he's still looking, he's still that. He's not into me. Uh. And you know what? I really want someone, and I think all of us deserve to have someone that's really into us. And that's what I'm holding out for. I'm and, holding and, out for that that person that. that just will be so into me that doesn't matter whatever happens in life, they're there. They're the ones. And dating websites may be one of the most fantastic vehicles for meeting people that we've ever seen in our human history, okay? Sorry. <laughs> but they work differently than how we used to meet people in a traditional or conventional way, and that was physical contact first. In other words, I see you with my eyes before I know anything about you. Profile be damned, okay? And I'll know whether I'm attracted, interested, desirous of you, boom, right away. And women, you know, they think that's a guy thing. Women think the same way. That's, exactly. I, you the know same what? Way. I do agree with that because I know that there's many times where I have met men and, and my friends will go, I don't get what you see in this person, but there's yeah. just something you see, you go, go, about them. Go to the beach, go to the mall, go to a sporting event that's crowded, and you will see people together and you're wondering, huh? Oh, but something must be going on there. there. There has to be something underneath it that we don't get. Well, I also feel, and again, it's, it's, and it's again our, our topic about being in the present, I also think it's about, about treating someone the way they they need to be treated. Well, of course. And so Absolutely. when you when you meet that person and you really get along well with them and you have that chemistry, you have all of that, but when you start to date, and what you really think about is your partner mm -hmm. pleasing them and what's going to be good for them and them in turn doing it the same for you. That's really living in the present of building your relationship. And not that, that and not are, everything and is those like, are, those are all relationship back. tools. Yes. Those are, that's how it mm -hmm. should be. I mean, and, it, and it's to the, it, it would be for me, if I, and you know, my ex can talk to this. Um, I, Always, I personally always, what would she like? What can I do nice for her? How can I show her that I care in simple, easy ways? And it, it, it's, it, become, it almost becomes natural. It, it's not like you even have to think about it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just like for, for, for many, many years, I was a door-to-door, -door, small package delivery driver. I would pass by stores of, of all kinds every day. I thought nothing of stopping and grabbing a bouquet of flowers, middle of the week, no special reason, just just to show that I care, just, just to get, bring a smile to her face. And none of that was ever like, uh, did I need to think about it in advance? Mm -hmm. it, it, it was all just, spur of the moment spontaneous yeah. and it's living it's living in the present so yes. that's that's what yes. i thought was so important about the show tonight is because so often we think about we do think about our past we think about how we've been hurt and what how we've been able to get through and we do, we are fearful a little bit of, of experiencing that same pain again but then there are times when we reach so far into the future that it's 
it's totally out of our grasp because we're not there yet. And we haven't lived within the moments that we need to live in in life. And so that's really what I thought the show would be great to talk about is really living in your moment and figuring out what kind of moment you want to live in. You know, what envision your life of where you where you would like to be and and do it in a sense that it's it's current, you know. And so I, you know, I would like to meet this type of person. You know, I want to feel this type of feeling and know more about what it is that um, you want, but also about what, and you've said this many times in the shows and I do listen and uh, about what you can give. Yes. Because I yes. don't think we can receive without giving, you know? And, and when you really stop and think about it for a moment, that's all you can do is give. Okay, give to the relationship to keep the relationship strong, you know, keep each other on the same page. All you can think about is giving. You don't worry about what you're getting back. And for me, again, me personally, when I was at my happiest in my relationship, I got such a great feeling from within from and from here when I gave something to the relationship. I didn't care what I got back. I was feeling good by by giving. It giving made me happy. Right. And in, in order to, you know, to when someone's giving to you like that, you have to give back because what happens is if you don't, you just you drain the other party. You know, you just drain them and, until they just have nothing more to give. So yeah. if you just keep going back and forth and and um and doing that. So that's something to think about. But I don't know. I just um there was some other things like I was thinking about, you know, when you're on a date, you know, gosh, put away the cell phones, you know. Oh, well, that, I, that, I was we on could a do date. A whole other show about that. I was on a date and you know, I, I just thought the guy was awesome and you know he and, and keeps just, checking, just, keeps just checking. As, a, as an aside, <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting here right now with Cecil. And I've got my phone. <laughs> and mine's mine's outside in the car. If you want to call me, great. Call me, but leave a message. I'll call me later. Get, call me later. I'll get back to you. Or send yeah. me an email. Contact yeah. me on Facebook. But the phone's out in the car. Yeah. I mean, I, I, and I, don't, kept, I don't have to have Well, I was going to say, he just kept checking, checking. And finally, I just thought, you know, I'm over this. So I picked up my phone. I started dialing this. And I started talking on the phone. And he goes, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Let me put my phone down. I thought, you know, hey, I'm not going to fool around. I've learned that, um, and maybe I'm not being as successful, but it's my life and I, I want to be able to live it to the fullest. And I've learned that I want to, I want to take care of me. And um, so being in the present for me is making sure that I, well, I am taken care of. One thing, one thing that anybody that dates you will never have to worry about is this woman has great hair. Oh, <laughs> she's got the best hair. He's okay. seen me in curlers. That's why he comes comes in. I go, I'm sorry. I got my curlers on. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, you know, it's. You like hair. This is your girl. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. But anyhow, <laughs> I try. I try. We try to keep the, we try to keep it going. But I don't know. We were hoping that we would have some people online that would maybe share with us some of their living in the moment and, and in the present. But I just think life is too short. And um, I was talking to a gentleman lately, and, and he said that you know a couple, of, I guess, good friends had been sick, and and he was starting to look at his life a little bit differently. And you know, and I think that we have to really grasp what we have, and you know, to live in the moment and just enjoy yeah. life, yeah. really. And if it's doesn't work, if it's not working for you, then you need to change something up. Figure you know? figure out what it is that's not working for you. Mm -hmm. Try to try to pinpoint it, narrow it down, and you know, alter alter it somehow. Not yeah. you don't necessarily have to go through a, a a complete monumental mental change. It's just I mean maybe you got to alter something a little right. bit, or just think about something a little differently than you're thinking about it now. Mm -hmm. um, and again, that's not always easy. And I'm, by no means do we want to sit here in front of you tonight and say, oh, yeah, just do this. You know, it, it will take some thought. Yeah. Okay. Well, my good friend, Janet Tatum, uh, she always says just, you know, 
change it up, shift well, it up. Yeah. Yeah. Just do something, just something a little bit different that you haven't done before. Step out of the box. Do something. Or maybe maybe give yeah. up, give up something that you hold near and dear to you. You know, whatever it may be. Uh, like you know, if you want curlers. <laughs> if, if, if you want to meet Not me, give the blow dryer up. If you want to meet me and date me and and get to know me, I'll give him up. Uh, don't don't cook with onions. Okay. Oh. I, I, uh, me you don't onions, like I don't even you, want onions. You need to make a list of all the things you don't like. <laughs> I don't, I don't even want onions to see my food. Okay. So that might be something. You know, you can to... get onion a little bit. I think it's onion. Isn't it onion oil? You can get a little yes, bit of onion, onion oil. Powder, powder. Onion salt. Yeah. yeah. I know all that. You can get all that. So you don't have to eat the actual onion <laughs> itself. So, you know, I used to actually, I dated this guy. He didn't like onions either, but he liked the taste of onions. So I would take and put them in the pureator thing and grind them all up so they were like mush for him and i mean i really went out of my way to to make well, him somehow happy. i'm not surprised yeah I, I, but he was yeah. i i thought he was very special and so um but and he's now married to somebody else <laughs> <laughs> and i think he is still very special he's just not my special guy <laughs> so anyhow well as we're going to close out the show i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed these uh, shows that we're doing you know we're doing them right here and i want to do a shout out before we get off the air to uh chuck bryant because chuck bryant has been helping me for many years uh, do a lot of technical stuff that i couldn't couldn't even begin to think about doing and um we had Shout a out to you Chuck. yeah you are so great but he has a terrific radio station it's a gospel station and um so just you can find him on facebook and you definitely go and listen if you want to listen to some good music he's he definitely has that but he did share with me that he was going to help us be able to get on live streaming. I mean, we are a live streaming station, but when we do video like this, we can't really stream it live. I have to do it separately. And so he is going to, when he has some time free, he's going to try to help us do that and be able to do live events that we can go different places. And I think that is really going to punch up the station and make it just so much more fun. I just can't wait. And then we can get face to face with you all versus, you know, at a distance and, I, and hoping you can each, each, each week. I look forward to, um, in, you know, the interaction. The interaction the, and, and I, I just, I just can't wait till somebody calls in, please. <laughs> okay. And yeah. we can go back and forth and we can discuss a specific issue with you and, you know, come on in. We, yeah. we're, I just can't wait. I'm looking forward to, to when we start doing that. So, well, we get a good response when we put it on my my personal Facebook page because I have a lot of people there and and it's quite active. But and but we're trying to really build up the radio stations page because out of honor and respect of all the other hosts that put in their hard efforts, you know, I want them to have a platform to be able to place their information on and for you all to know. To get it, not just sit through, you know, and my just, personal just, stuff. Just simply, there's some place for you to go. Right. Okay. We mm -hmm. have the places for you to come to. Yes. And, 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 and we have a lot of places for you to yeah, go to. So uh, yeah. whatever you want. Like we have the boy and girl page. Uh, page. If you guys like it, because if you have it, you need yes, to like that do. for us. Please. Yes. And then we have this page. And we have uh, my show, which is going solo with Cece. We have that. That's a group that you can join. Um we have the going solo travelers. We have the and it's never ending. We're always yeah, adding to it. Yeah, we have the um, going solo divorce group. We have so many different different pages that you can join and you can get information. But out of respect to all the hosts and such as you know Christopher here, Kit here, you know I want to be able to bring them forward here to the radio station page so that they can you know be able to get all their information out. So we got to close the show. Yeah, another great week. I know. Well, next week we're going to have Roz with us, Rosalind Sadaka, uh, awesome, awesome lady. And uh, she has been helping women over 40 date for a long time and, and men too. And she's going to sh share with yeah, us. You're going to want to tune in for Yeah, that. some great really ideas. Are. After that, we're going to have Amy, Amy uh, Sherman. And she also is a counselor. She helps people all the time with, with regards to relationship building, transitioning to dating, 
and that, and then after that, we're having uh, Joanne Simmons on, and uh, she has been working nonstop helping couples and helping individuals really blend together and try to, you know, make relationships work and helping those that are traveling from, yes, harmonious, traveling from uh, relationship loss into dating. So I think both, all these shows, all three of these shows are going to be absolutely fabulous and they're all going to have a different spin to them, something that you're going to want to listen and take away with you. So great. So we'll see you back here, same place, same time, eight o'clock. Next Thursday night on WGSN DB Going Solo Network Facebook page. So do not miss it. Okay, bye for now.